hello everyone and welcome back to another video it's been about three months since i've said that it has been a very very long time i know i said in my last video that i would try and film more but my schedule is hectic uh life got in the way as well so here i am i am back with another video so um let's start off as normal i hope you are well and safe and happy wherever you are around the world and thank you so much for clicking on this video as you can see by the title i decided to make a modern day bridgerton home now bridgerton if you don't know is a netflix show and the second season came out a bit over a month ago and ever since then i wanted to create the bridgerton house um if you've seen a couple of my videos i do like creating houses from shows or movies or franchise like i did the boss baby house like i did um some themed apartments from harry potter so the four houses i converted them into apartments and ever since i watched bridgerton the idea popped in my head that i really wanted to make a bridgerton house and I try to stick to it as much as possible. You can see in the corner of the screen, the picture is there. And I try to stick, again, I did try to stick as much as possible. But I did only use base game. So my options were very limited. But I still tried to do as much as I could. It's obviously not exactly the same. And I only followed the exterior, not the interior of the house. Um... I actually didn't do anything in the interior. I only added two rooms, which you'll see later onwards. I also did a tour at the end. So if you'd like to see the entire uh, home, it's actually not even a home, it's a mansion. Um, stick to the end to see the entire tour. So yeah, basically, I tried to follow the picture as much as I could. The exterior looks... I'm going to say it's exactly the same, obviously. But... Uh, it's quite it's quite close i think it's quite close obviously again the interior i didn't do it anything at all except the two rooms because i wanted whoever is going to download this onto their lots it's completely up to you to do the decoration the decor inside adding the furniture and the whatever else you want to add inside the house on that matter this lot has been posted onto our gallery I'll put it up on the screen and it'll be down in the description below. So if you'd like to download this onto your lot and furnish it yourself, you may do so, of course. And if you would like to, please do send us pictures of your furnishings on our Instagram account. You can DM us on Instagram. We're always open. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen as well. And the link of our Instagram account is down in this, the description below. I do post pictures of my bowls and throwbacks and the occasional reel as well. So if you'd like to see more updates on what we do, what we post, please do follow us on Instagram. Um, let me give you a little backstory about Bridgerton if you don't know. Basically, Bridgerton is a period drama on Netflix. I just want to pause on the description and just say that I removed the picture from the screen now because... From this point onwards, I freestyled. So I did the outside and after this, I just did whatever I wanted to do uh, in terms of the house. So yeah, uh, Bridgerton is a period drama, a Netflix show uh, based on the Bridgerton books by uh, the author Julia Quinn. And it's about a prolific family in, I believe, the 19th century, uh, early 1800s, so that should be 19th century. Um... And uh, they are a prolific family in London. And there are eight books on the eight Bridgerton siblings. So this mansion is for the eight siblings. I was going to make a room for the mother, but I think it slipped my mind whilst I was making and I realized afterwards. Obviously, it's entirely up to you how you make the house. It's not even for the siblings. It's just a house on its own. But the concept that I took, I only made... Um, bedrooms for the siblings i did not make a bedroom for the mother unfortunately i as i said i forgot but um yeah that's basically that was the concept that i wanted to create a house 
the the Bridgerton house for their eight siblings and obviously this is before they got married this is them when they were younger um them before season one i have to say season two was a lot better than season one could be controversial opinion but the brown representation the storyline everything was so beautifully done i had a feeling they wouldn't be able to put it off but boy was i wrong i was so happy that they managed to pull the whole thing off and make it so beautiful i really really loved season two so much and yeah this is in honor of season two if you haven't watched it i would highly recommend you go and do so especially if you're a brown girl especially if you're a brown girl you will absolutely enjoy this show and yeah there's going to be a season three and a season four basically each book as i said is on a different sibling and season one was on the fourth sibling the first daughter and season two was on the first sibling the first brother uh the books are actually also quite nice but i definitely am one of those people who prefer the show to the books um again that could be that's probably an even more controversial opinion but nevertheless um let me just show you here whilst i was doing the entrance i decided to make the this is the first room that's completely done this room and i added a dining table upstairs which you'll see later onwards are the only two rooms that i've completely furnished well not completely it is quite bare to be honest but it's the only two rooms that i actually added stuff in the rest of them is just walls and a light in the middle so yeah uh, downstairs here, okay, I don't know whether I should tell you what it is now, what, well, what I envision the room as now or in the tour, but basically to give an overview, the downstairs area has two bedrooms, the kitchen, and the lounge, um, that's what I thought in my head whilst I was doing it. The two bedrooms are attached to the circular things that I put in the corner, so my original thought was that Okay, again, I don't know. Whether, let me just say it. The original thought was that I was going to have the first sibling, Anthony, who season two is based on, because he's the old sibling. He has an office in the British house, according to the show. I wanted to do his bedroom and his office. And the second bedroom was going to be Eloise's bedroom. Eloise is the fifth sibling. Also, another fun fact about the show, if you don't know, the eight siblings are named alphabetically. So it goes from A to G. It's quite cool, actually. The whole concept of them, this eight siblings being named alphabetically was actually pretty awesome. And yeah, basically, so the downstairs was A and E. So the first sibling and the fifth sibling. The fifth one, if you watch the show and read, I don't know if it's so much in the books, but it's more like in the show. She's a reader. So I was going to add a, in my head, I envisioned her room next to... Or attached to a library and upstairs were the rest of the six siblings which i will emphasize on a little bit later i also realized a lot later whilst i was filming this build and whilst i was doing the upstairs that i didn't really add a bathroom downstairs which of course you can add that on your own but i did add two bathrooms upstairs so if you do have eight people living in this house, the two people that live downstairs are going to have to take a trip right upstairs to go to the bathroom. Um, but yeah, this is the dining room as I was talking about. I was going to add just this and have like eight chairs only. But then I was like, you know what? There's a lot of space. We can fit one more table even if it looks like it's glitching. So I just added that and I added a fireplace. So those were the only two rooms that I made. And I just added some doors in the middle, added lighting everywhere so you don't have to worry about lighting. And yeah, basically, again, this is, has been put up on our gallery. So please do download it. And if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy Bridgerton, please give a like in, to this video. Comment down below which one was your favorite season, which who's your favorite sibling. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the tour is about to start, so I just wanted to say all of this before I go on to the tour. Thank you again for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and yeah follow us on instagram and subscribe to our channel too to see what we post in the future i do post the occasional shorts so yeah i do enjoy doing that right let's move on to the tour now shall we so this is the main product from the outside as you can see the upstairs looks a bit bland but there was no proper roof on the pic in the picture so i didn't add a proper roof here as we saw when we enter we go into the entrance area the downstairs room this could be anthony's room and anthony's office in the circular air in the circular room this is eloise's bedroom quite a large bedroom for her and her mini library area so this could either be the kitchen or the lounge and the other side could either be the kitchen or the lounge whatever you choose to do i've never actually done this before where i left it completely empty um but yeah i hope it gives you um the creativity to fill the space up obviously this is the stairs going upstairs the dining room in the middle because i didn't add a dining room downstairs and the bedrooms on the side so basically what i thought one bedroom would be benedict's the second son one bedroom in the corner would be colin's the third son and the other two rooms would be shared between daphne and um daphne and Fran uh, francesca francesca and hyacinth and gregory so that makes up the eight siblings and yeah this build is done and obviously the back i didn't really add a lot i just added hedges and a little cheese and like benches no pool nothing because i didn't know if it would be appropriate for that but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you again for watching and see you in the next one bye bye